So we've got a mass on that. We don't know what it is. So today is the first visit. I'm going to explore. I can't go in without it being anaesthetized just to see what is going on. Quite a large mass on the eye. It looks like it could be pussy. It could be uh, lymphoid. It could be from an infection. You can see there's been bite wounds on the cr on the um, comb. But I need to know what this is. So I'm going to cut into it and lance into it. We've given the bird some sedation. I'm now putting some local anesthetic in the eye. And I'm also going to maybe put a little bit of local anesthetic in that area. Okay, let's let it, be, let's let it go down a little bit. It's still on 2%. So you're doing a general anesthetic? We're going to, yes. But it's a very difficult area to move to. Yeah, because we will, yes, we'll have to turn the flow rate down on the next. I don't want to go to sleep at the same time. What's it on my keeping here? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to hold it there. It's going down quite gently because it's already been heavily, it's already been heavily sedated. Who got you with a temporary tattoo? I've got some to try. To, to, I tried it yesterday. It was actually very good for 24 hours. <laughs> the hummingbird. Uh, This morning I was at a massive function, I had to take my shirt off and I was all embarrassed in front of everyone to show my arm. <laughs> I wonder who would have noticed, I'm sure everyone would have noticed. What are you doing now? Tattoos, you know, some people it's normal, it's often normal, but just a lot of people I was with today would not have tattoos. So I'm going to get a sample maybe for his side of this. Breathing steady. I might have to put onto a slide. Did you bring your slide with you? So, got a mail? Yep. Which is going to come out of here. Oh! Did we get it? Yep. Wow. Came out so beautifully. How good is that? And now we can look at it, examine it. Would never have come out without surgery. Never ever. So that is brilliant. So now we're going to take some sterile saline. We're going to flush it out. And this is going to be a very good outcome. This is so good. Will this chicken keep its vision, Phil? This chicken not able to keep its vision is going to make a it's going to make a complete recovery. Complete recovery. I think I've taken it, just the fact that the mess came out so beautifully, came out as a complete unit. I'm very happy with. Uh, I think we're going to be. I think we've made a complete recovery and. Uh, Eye abscesses are not that common. We don't usually see them. And chickens don't have the luxury of going to a vet that often to treat these kind of things. Because it's an abscess and it looks, it looks like an abscess to me, I'll examine it after surgery. So what I think I'll probably do is leave it open so it can drain and when we put antibiotics, it gets in there. So when you say antibiotics, is that going to be like eye drops? Yes, we're going to use eye drops, but um, I'm very... Because I could stitch it up, I'll just decide now if I want to stitch it or not. So I'm going to really flush it thoroughly, but I think... I... Mel, are you doing the photography? Yeah. What do you think? 
What does the camera think I should do? I'm not sure. I think you'll do that and it's your call. That's the right answer, no thanks. <laughs> so if I'm the vet and it's my call. I'm going to put one stitch in. One for just in case. One for just in case, yep. Yeah, because um, it's just a really, it's a really big. Um, I still want to leave it partly open so that. Um, How's the arm? So can dry. Oh, I have a thigh cramp. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> so we're using six more. There's going to be one six more PDS suture. Okay, just finish mm -hmm. off. Okay. Yeah, I'm explain your choice of suture, Phil. So I've used something that's absorbable, that's very thin, that's very fine. So and I'll put the knot. Removed. No, and the knot's going to be at the top of the eye, so it's not going to be touching the cornea. You can see the knot will be um, hopefully at the top of the eye. Otherwise, you can get a corneal ulcer. So I'll only put one stitch, even though it's quite a big um, opening, just because I'd like the antibiotics to be able to penetrate there. Okay, Dakota. So that's great. You can turn off the end. You can turn off the anesthetic now, please. Can you go off outside? Pretty amazing case because this mass on the eye, on the top of the eye, just behind the eye, was really big, as you saw when it came out on the video. So today we, we we're about six days later for a revisit. So when you look at the eye itself, when it walks in, you can't actually even see. You, you it's almost hard to know which eye. But it's obviously there's still some swelling at the top of the eye where I did the surgery. There's still some stitches, but um, that should resolve itself. The stitches dissolve; they take a few weeks. So if we've got vision back. We've got sights so amazing. We've got vision back in the eye. The eye's functional. When the, when the bird's walking around, you don't even know it. So this is a really good outcome. We're really happy with it. And uh, you could do surgery on the conjunctiva in a bird. And I think the owner's really happy with the results, which is great.